the next two days I'm just going to be in here working because the next um, two weeks I think or maybe three we can't come because it's Easter break so I'm trying to try and get as so much done as I can today. I've brought with me some pictures that have been inspiring me so I'm going to stick these up on my walls because this is like the colour palette that I'm working with and these are like the pictures that are kind of inspiring the most. So I found some like other outfits that I'm really like inspired by at the moment. So I'm gonna stick them up on the walls and try and get myself a bit of a big mood board so I can kind of keep myself on track. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna set myself up. I think I'm gonna go get a coffee because my, my flask broke last week, my flask broke. I've had that flask for about 13 years I loved it it was a Jules flask and it was so beautiful it held like half a litre and it was like compact and it kept like your drinks really hot and last Friday I just knocked it off the side and it shattered and I was just so devastated like so I just sat and cried <laughs> I feel really embarrassed about that but yeah I got that upset so I want to like this week if I can maybe go to like home bargains and see if what I can find. So they have this really cool cover that you put over and I'm thinking whatever flask I get I can just find a cover for it. <sighs> also my headphones are starting to run out of battery. I forgot to charge them last night. So I've got like these like old iPhone headphones that like, keep in the, um, the glove compartment in the car. So it's like when I go to shops I can like stick my headphones in and they are like nearly broke. So that's another annoying thing that's happening today. Yeah, I'm gonna get myself set up and then I'm gonna go get myself a coffee. out really good I'm really feeling like this one I feel like the lines kind of really make it and this one as well the order that I did them I did this one first then that one then that one then that one yeah I feel like I'm getting somewhere <laughs> talking to all of like you know like the dinner ladies and that just like lovely just catching up with everybody it's nice and i've got another covid test so i'll find out in half an hour if that's positive or negative i've got eight in the 12 so the day is like the day is passing like really quickly i can't believe it's like gone 11 now and i feel like it's a good start on like four paintings but the only just like the days like running away with yeah that's kind of how i feel right now also, what is with me doing like a pinky pop? What is with that? I'm losing my mind. So it's just been confirmed that we will not be coming into the studios until the 19th of April. It just seems so, so far away, like so far into the future. It's so stressful to think about. Some part of me is thinking, should I take some of the pictures that I've started home with me tomorrow? Probably. <sighs> Stressful. So these are some watercolors that I've been working on. I'm just not sure. It's like, you just get to this point sometimes where you're just like, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. I made it with them though. Really feeling that vibe. I'm just happy to just be back 
in the studio and it just like makes me like really sad that like we're not gonna be here for like nearly a month but you know it's nobody's fault it is what it is but yeah happy with all the work that i've done today i need to do some work on my journals that's something i really need to do i just want to like fill this wall with like nice things i might bring some nails in tomorrow so i can like hang my paintings up in between and i just bought like a load of canvas as well like 10 meters of canvas and it says so two meters by 10 meters like that's how much canvas i bought it's huge so I'm planning on stretching some of those and trying to do some more, but like larger pieces. Really want to do that. Get some big pieces made. So I'm trying to think what we're doing for the rest of the day. It's now four o'clock. So we really need to think about getting home. So I'm going to get Jackson from my mum's. And then yeah, go home, make tea, watch some Buffy, write my journals. So it's Thursday and I'm on my way to the studio. I'm sat outside my mum's house right now and I've just dropped Jackson off and he's going to stay there for the day while I go to the studio and crack on with my work. Today I'm just going to crack on, carry on with some of the paintings that I was doing yesterday. I got a load of um, canvas as well so I might be doing something with that, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think what else I need. I'm gonna get coffee from Maggie's. Yeah, I feel like I'm coffee today. I feel like I need some help to wake up. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. That is what uh, my plan is today. I've just been sat there till my politics with my dad. Eight o'clock in the morning, that's what he wants. <laughs> actually, it was actually really fun. We just sit there and like argue with mum's like, oh, oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's my day. I've got myself a nice lunch. I forgot to tell my mum that I brought two muffins for her that in like they're in Jackson's like basket so I hope that um hope she figures out that they're for her and not the baby. <laughs> right, let's drive. So I've just got to the studio and um, these are some of the works that I was doing yesterday. I kind of put them on the wall. I'm actually feeling a little bit better about them since they've dried and they've gone on the wall. And um, these have actually dried really oh these actually dried like really well, which is making me think that the garage is not necessarily the best place to be using as a studio in terms of like things drying but the summer is approaching so hopefully things will dry a lot quicker yeah i'm feeling good had a coffee from matthews i feel like i could have set up my area so i'm gonna have a little work on these paintings and see what i can kind of crack on doing with them My last studio day of the week today is sunday and i am shattered i'm absolutely knackered yesterday i prepped this canvas it's huge i don't know that's, i don't exactly know how big it is two meters by maybe like a meter and a half maybe i'm really not sure i'm really not sure i went to b and q yesterday and i bought some like different paints and i've also bought a unit so i can kind of organize all of like this stuff and i'm making this into a drying rack so i kind of need somewhere to stick all my stuff so i got this like really cool little like unit down from b and q and i also got some really cool paints as well let me go oh, to the other side of the studio i feel so disorganized i got this gloss paint it's a really pretty color and it's like in the palette that i'm using and i also got a gloss black as well I also just got some emulsion paint. Now I know that you're not really supposed to prep your canvases with emulsion paint, but cost-wise, oh my God, my nose is running. Cost-wise, I just need something that I can just layer on the canvas and just crack on just for some stuff at the degree show because I'm running out of money and I still need to buy stretcher bars. I was gonna make them, but I just feel like to save time, I'm just gonna have to 
I'm, I'm just gonna have to just buy the stretcher bars and just get it done because the uni is now closed for another three weeks so obviously due to like restrictions it's no one's fault you know it's just heartbreaking and annoying but what i'm gonna do is i'm because like because my studio walls are brick i can't put my canvas onto the wall and paint because it's not like a smooth like surface it's like textured so i'll end up with the texture of the wall on the canvas which i don't want so i'm gonna go and buy a piece of ply wood i've seen one was at two and a half meters by like a meter and a half or something so i'm gonna go price that up tomorrow and buy one and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna build a frame screw the frame to the wall and then screw the plywood to the wall so i can basically work at home but without stretching the canvases because i don't want to stretch the canvases onto bars because that's going to be a whole thing of like taking the canvas off the bars dismantling the bars and taking them to uni and it's it's just giving me more work and honestly i am like i am freaking out like i've had so many meltdowns this week i can't even explain i've had so many meltdowns of what i'm doing but I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna do something good. It's just, I just need to try and figure out what that good is. But yeah, I'm gonna crack on now. I'm gonna paint this canvas and see where I get from there. So I was gonna paint my canvas first, but I've decided I'm actually gonna make the unit first because I can't, I don't, I don't think it's gonna be a good idea if I start building a unit and moving things around while I've got a wet canvas on the floor. So I'm gonna build the unit first. I'm so tired I've just put together the unit so I mean don't get it wrong it's not like neat and tidy but that section now is a lot tidier and I've still got all the books on the glass all Christmas decorations but like it looks a lot neater it looks a hell of a lot neater I've not even prepped my canvas yet I'm so tired I don't know what I'm gonna do well I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my canvas but like the sweat is pouring off me. It's like raining outside. I just, I just feel so tired. I feel like someone's knocked me out and Jackson, bless his heart, got me up at half three. So I got up at half three with him. He was like, by quarter to four, he was just like sat up in the car. He was making noises at half three and then by like four, he was just like sat up, just like, and I was like, okay. I guess we're getting up. So we're downstairs, fed him his bottle. <laughs> we watched Sense and Sensibility, which weirdly captured his imagination. He was like really watching that like really intently. Um, so that's what we did. And I managed, he fell asleep about six. I managed to get a little bit of sleep. And then all morning, I've just been in a daze. But I knew if I didn't get that, <clears throat> if I didn't get that unit built, I just wouldn't get it done. And in here is just looking a lot neater, which is great. I still got all this crap behind me that I need to deal with. So I'm thinking where I put these pictures. I'm gonna take them down, take all the nails off the wall, and this is where I'm gonna screw the bit of plywood. So I've got something like flat to work on. So that's my idea. That is my idea. It's just a lot of work that I did not think about. Yeah, so I'm gonna go prep this canvas now. Start doing the background. It's gonna be fine. I feel so tired. Actually, looking at this, I think I actually need to do another layer of primer. I know, like, on the camera, it's not really picking up, but I just feel like it does need another layer. <sighs> I've had so many meltdowns, and I just feel like I'm just having a meltdown. The show is in three months and I have no idea what I'm showing and I feel so stressed out. So stressed out. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. 
let's go with the primer. Okay, so I've just come out of the studio. Right after I primed that canvas, when I opened the garage door, even though when I put the shelving unit up, the garage door cleared it. I don't know what happened, but it sort of swung forward. And I, I kind of hung it to the wall with bungee, bungee cords, because uh, I haven't got the drill yet. And oh, it like started to fall apart. And I've fixed it now. I've moved it further away from the garage door. So it's like completely clear in it. There's no chance of it hitting it. And I've used more bungee cords. <laughs> But I'm getting my dad's drill next week, so I'll anchor it to the wall next week. And that'll that'll be good. So this is the end of the video. It's been a I think it's been a semi-successful week, as in like I know what I'm I know what I'm gonna do for the degree show. I just need to like execute it. My hands are so sore. That metal just oh kept catching me on those like shells and my nose keeps running. My nose keeps running. I'm all sweaty. I'm like, oh I just need to like and the worst thing is I thought I was gonna be able to get the, the underlay of the canvas done, but looking at it, I just needed to prime it again because it was like it just needs to be that just a little bit. I know what I'm trying to say, but it's just not coming out right because I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. So I'm gonna take my dungarees off, my scatty pink covered dungarees. I'm gonna put my pajamas on, <laughs> even though it's only like one or something like that. I feel like it's six o'clock. I feel like it's so late because I've been up so early. I literally feel so confused. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my pajamas. <sighs> go downstairs and have a nice chill and enjoy the rest of the family day. I might convince Red to play Herbaceous or Carcass on with me. I'm going to edit the rest of this video and stick it up on the YouTube. And next week's video, Red's actually off next week so my plan is just, I'm going to do the follow, follow me around because I really enjoy that format. I really like enjoy kind of like going and doing things. We're going to be doing like a lot of walks and I'm gonna be obviously buying the plywood and trying to get that up. If they if they can deliver it this week, it'll be perfect. Um, because obviously we don't have the. I'm not in uni for three weeks now, so I need to try and kind of make the most of this three week period. So I'm gonna be in the studio. Hopefully, I'll be getting along a lot with that canvas that I've been priming today, so you guys can see the progress with that. And yeah, that's that's my plan. So I hope everyone's still staying safe and hopefully we can all be together soon. As soon as this is over, y'all know I'm gonna be planning a big ass tea party just like in celebration of us all being able to see each other again. And it'll be lovely. Love you guys, stay safe, bye.